Now this is certainly one of the most easiest no-bake recipes you'll ever make. Maltesers as an ingredient truly is spectacular. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Who doesn't love Maltesers? It's just one of those treats you can't have just one of. And no, I don't mean one each, I mean one packet. But I'm going to make it into a fantastic recipe. So join me today as I make my version of Maltesers slices. Okay, so the dry part of the ingredients for this recipe are incredibly simple. I'm going to use 280 grams of Maltesers, followed by 250 grams of just regular cookies or biscuits. Now in Australia we call them rice bubbles, other people will call them rice pops, but they, they go by many different names. Basically, basically just those fluffy bits of rice that you have as cereal, and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. So into a Ziploc bag we're going to place in our cookies, followed by our rice bubbles, rice pops, whatever you want to call them, our cocoa powder, and one packet or half of our Maltesers. And as a little hint, I've had these sitting in the fridge for about an hour just so they harden up a bit, just so when you're bashing these away they're not going to melt. They're actually going to break up just how you want them to. Okay, so we just want to just do up our Ziploc bag. I like to do it this way because it's just so much more satisfying. So basically just with a rolling pin, we're just going to break them all up until we get to a rough consistency. Okay, so that's the consistency you're after. You don't have to have it to a nice fine powder, just nice and rough. You actually want that not perfect look and just, just that crummy look, just like that. That's perfect. Okay, now for our wet ingredients. We're going to use one can of sweetened condensed milk into a microwave safe bowl. And 125 grams of butter. And we're going to place this into the microwave for say 30 seconds to a minute at a time. Give it a good stir each time until it's completely melted and combined. Okay, so as you can see, the butter and the sweetened condensed milk have nicely combined. It's nice and creamy too. So now we just have to pour in our dry ingredients and give it a good mix until it's all well combined. Okay, so you get to this point where it's it's all all the ingredients are coated in the liquid mixture and it's getting really hard to actually mix. That means it's ready. Okay, so I've just got a lined baking pan here and just simply place our mixture into our pan and we're just going to flatten it out as much as we can just so it's relatively even and to make life a little bit easier I'm just going to use the base of a cup just so we can get that extra bit of just makes it a little bit easier just to even it all out and we're just going to temporarily place this in the fridge while we melt the final ingredients. Okay, so first I'm going to use two tablespoons of coconut oil. And I'm going to add that to 200 grams of white chocolate. And all we have to do is place this into the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. Give it a good stir each time until it's completely melted and well combined. Okay, so with our white chocolate and coconut melted, we're just going to pour it over the top of our base. And white chocolate and coconut, trust me, the taste is fantastic too. And before the white chocolate sets, with our remaining Maltesers, we're just going to place them just on the top, just like so. So we have that extra decoration. Okay, so once done, simply place them in the fridge for a good hour or two to completely set. Okay, so I've just taken it out of the fridge and as you can see, it is now nicely set. Now, luckily, this particular one has a removable base. So it just makes life so much easier. And just look how delicious that is. All that Malteser goodness. So really, the only thing left now is just to slice it up. The top white chocolate part's going to be a little bit harder, but with the added coconut oil, it will make it slightly softer. But a sharp knife is preferred, of course. 
as you can see, yum yum. So you can do it in ones or twos, and let's be honest, who wants just one? So I'm going to cut it up into lots of twos. And there we have our deliciously crunchy, cool, and not so healthy, but delicious Malteser slice. Just a few simple ingredients, took less than 10 minutes to put together, about an hour or so in the fridge, and it's done and ready to serve for any occasion. So be it for a holiday period or a party of any description, try one of these Malteser slices because they're simply delish.